Welcome to the Jelvix channel, the space of insights and curiosity. For example, did you know the Starbucks logo was created as a metaphor for the allure of caffeine? Just like the sirens who drew sailors into the rocks. And when we take the case of some famous IT solutions, like the heroes of today's video, MongoDB and PostgreSQL, the meaning behind the mascots of their logos help us understand the core concepts behind the frameworks too. The PostgreSQL logo is an elephant's head, as a reference to intelligence, memory, and long-term thinking ability. The MongoDB logo, in turn, is a green leaf, which is often associated with new life, growth, and nature, implying the MongoDB's natural, intuitive way to store and manage data. Now, of course, this single insight is not enough for the Jelvix team to compare the two frameworks. So let's dive in together in the more in-depth comparison where we identify key strengths and differences of these two frameworks, pinpoint their popularity, their most common use cases, and more. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel so we can deliver more great content. And make sure to watch till the end of the video to see the results of a real-life performance benchmarking analysis of these two databases. To start with, both PostgreSQL and MongoDB are considered mature solutions, even though they have over 20 years difference. PostgreSQL is a true technological veteran that was developed back in 1986, and its core platform has been actively developed ever since. MongoDB, in turn, was created in 2007 by the team behind DoubleClick, a US-based internet ad-serving services provider that was acquired by Google in 2008. Interestingly, as the Jelvix team discovered in Google Trends, such a great age difference didn't affect their current popularity. Both PostgreSQL and MongoDB databases demonstrate similar dynamics in terms of interest to them. A similar growth dynamic is shown by other statistics, showing MongoDB's surge in popularity in 2013 through 2015, and even slightly taking over in 2015. According to Stack Overflow data, PostgreSQL is currently more widely used, outperforming MongoDB. Now, the Jelvix team believes the active growth and high position of MongoDB is related to its ease of use, compared to which PostgreSQL is considered more complex in a number of aspects. Now, let's have a quick overview of the key differences between the databases. MongoDB is a NoSQL database that uses a document-oriented data model. This means data is stored in JSON-like documents, which is flexible and easy to query. MongoDB is known for its scalability and performance, being a good choice for apps that need to handle large amounts of data and traffic. It's also well-suited for storing messages or historical price changes, particularly in scenarios where calculating an average price is unnecessary and displaying this data in a table or on a graph is sufficient. PostgreSQL is a relational database that uses a table-oriented data model. This means that data is stored in tables, which have a fixed structure. PostgreSQL is known for its reliability and security, and it's a good choice in cases of storing and managing complex data. It excels in scenarios requiring connectivity between diverse tables, making it particularly suitable for sectors like banking, commerce, analytical systems, and even geostatistical data, where it might be necessary to locate nearby points based on coordinates. Apart from the differences in database types and data models, MongoDB and PostgreSQL can be differentiated by scalability and performance properties. Horizontal scalability of MongoDB allows for adding more servers to the database cluster and thus distributing the workload across multiple servers, which can improve performance and scalability. Performance-wise, MongoDB is able to quickly retrieve data from storage, making it a good option for databases that need to handle large amounts of data and display it to a high number of users instantly, like in the cases of web applications and mobile apps. Vertical scalability of PostgreSQL involves adding more resources to a single server, such as CPU, memory, and storage. This can also improve performance and scalability, but it is not as scalable as horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling is a good option for databases with limited space or those that need to be kept on a single server for security or compliance reasons. PostgreSQL's fast for write operations property means the database can quickly store new data and update it frequently, which is critical for the cases of e-commerce websites or online banking applications. Now, to better display performance efficiency between the two frameworks, the Jelvix team found some benchmarking data on the database performance metrics. As you can see, PostgreSQL outperforms MongoDB in a number of aspects. All right, to sum it up, if you need a reliable and secure database that can store and manage complex data, PostgreSQL is a good choice. For a more scalable solution able to quickly process large amounts of data and traffic, MongoDB is a good choice. Eventually, the best database for you will depend on the specific needs of your application. We hope you found this video useful, and for even greater value, watch another trending Jelvix video. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now!